To create the baby booty, you will need the KB Looms Baby Booty Loom 24 pegs small gauge, your knitting tool, two stitch markers, preferably a different color each, tapestry needle, scissors, and your choice of worsted weight merino wool. Let's get started. Place the stitch marker on one of the pegs to mark it as the first peg. With the working yarn, create a slip knot and place it on your first peg, the one that has this stitch marker. And now cast on all around the knitting loom. I will be using the non loopy e wrap cast on, however, you can use whatever cast on you are most familiar with. Rounds one through three are done the same. We are going to knit two, purl two, all the way around the knitting loom. Knit two, purl two, so purl two pegs. Repeat that sequence all the way around. Repeat round one two more times. We have finished round one, two, and three. I am going to complete round four. For round four, you are going to create a left cross on the first two pegs, then purl on the next two. So let me show you the left cross. You're gonna skip the first peg with yarn behind the peg, behind the first peg, knit the second peg, remove the loop from the second peg and hold it. Now remove the loop from the first peg and move it to the second peg. The loop that you're holding, place it on the first peg. Now knit peg two. That was the left cross. Now purl two. And repeat that sequence one more time. So in these two pegs, we're gonna do the left cross so skip peg one, knit peg two, remove the loop, move the one from peg one to two, place the one you're holding back, knit peg two, purl two. Repeat this all around the knitting loom.
we have completed round four. Repeat rounds one through four two more times. At that point, I will come back and I will show you the next step for the baby booties. The next five rounds are all the same. They are called to knit every stitch. So go ahead and knit all around. I have finished knitting the five rounds of knit stitch. I am ready to begin the heel. The heel will be completed in the German short row method. Knit 12 stitches. On that 12th peg, Place the second stitch marker. Our heel will take place on those 12 pegs. Bring the working yarn to the front of peg 12 and over to the front of peg 11. Knit peg 11, knit down all the way to peg 1, so to the first stitch marker. Knit peg one, bring the working yarn, tug on it gently, bring it to the front of peg one, front of peg two, and knit peg two all the way down to peg 11. Knit peg 11, bring the working yarn the front of peg 11, front of peg 10, and knit all the way down to peg 2. Peg 2, knit it, bring the working yarn to the front of peg 2, to the front of peg 3, and knit from peg 3, all the way to peg 10. Peg 10, bring working yarn to the front, knit from peg 9 all the way to peg 3. Peg three, knit it, bring working yarn to the front of peg three in bring the yarn to the front, no knit. Knitting down all the way to peg four. Bring the yarn to the front of peg four. And now we're going to knit all the way to peg nine. The last peg that we German short rode. Peg nine, lift the wrap over. To eliminate a gap, a hole created between peg nine and peg 10, knit peg 10 and turn at that peg by bringing the working yarn to the front of peg 10 and now knit from peg nine all the way down 
to the first peg that you encounter that has the German short row, it should be peg four. Eliminate that hole between peg four and three by knitting peg three and short rowing a peg three. Excellent. Yarn to the front, peg four. Now knit all the way to the first peg that you encounter with the short row. With the German short row. Here we are. It's peg 10. Left over. Eliminate the hole between peg 10 and 11 by short rowing. Right there on peg 11. Bring working yarn to front. Now knit in the opposite direction to the first peg that you encounter with the short row. peg, peg two, and short rowing a peg two, bring that working yarn to the front of peg two, front of peg three, and knit from peg three all the way to the first peg with the wrap. There we go, is that peg eleven? over. Eliminate the hole by knitting the next peg, peg 12. German short row at that point. Bring that working yarn to the front of peg 12. Now knit from peg 11 all the way down until you encounter that first wrap. Eliminate the gap between peg two and one by knitting peg one. Short rowing at that point. Excellent. Bring working yarn to the front of peg one. Now knit all the way down to peg 12. There's our peg that's wrapped. Eliminate the gap between peg 12 and 13. If you turn back, you will you will have a small hole between peg 12 and 13. So eliminate that gap by short rowing on peg 13. One last time. Excellent. And working yarn to the front of peg 13. Now knit all the way down from peg 12 all the way to peg one. We're going to pick one, knit it, there we go, got rid of the last short row. Now if we turn back at this point, we will create a small hole between peg one and the last peg, peg 24. So to eliminate that hole, short row at peg 24 by knitting peg 24 and short rowing it, meaning bring the working yarn to the front of peg one. And from this point forward, we will be working the sole and end step. So go ahead and knit all the way around. The sole and end step is created strictly in stockinette stitch. That means we knit every round.
Repeat that last round until your item measures approximately three to three and a half inches from the heel. Here's our heel. I have knitted about three, three and a half inches. The baby booty is looking great. I am ready to remove the item off the knitting loom. I will be using the gather bind off method. So for this, simply cut the working yarn, leaving about 10 inches and thread it through a tapestry needle. I have threaded the yarn through a tapestry needle and I'm simply going to remove all the stitches off the knitting loom onto this tapestry needle. All the stitches are on this yarn. Remove the knitting loop. Now simply tug on the working yarn gently and the stitches will come close. Poke the tapestry needle to the little hole and pass it through the wrong side. The last thing to do is to weave in the ends since this is an item that is for a baby, remember to tug in the ends really securely. Our baby booty is complete. This is where we started with the left crosses. Then we did stocking it. Then we did our heel, the sole and instep, and then the gather bind off. Good job, now we only have to create one more.